Can't get back up the ladder. <laughs> oh, fail. Oh, I didn't need him coming. Ah, good morning there, survivors. It's day 57 and we are on post-horde clean-up. Uh, not too much cleaning up to do, actually, to be fair, because I sorted a chunk of my inventory and did all the looting um, on the previous video. So I've got a bit more to do. We'll crack on with that. And then I think we will head straight over and do that infested clear. Sounds good to me. Glad you could join me. Hope you enjoy the episode. Right, we are more or less ready to go, I think. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing any base repair right at this very moment in time. Uh, I'll stock up my shotgun um, turrets later. I've got some shotgun ammo crafting now. One thing I have noticed that I hadn't really realised before, uh, I looted... Where are we? Open. I looted a fuel saver mod, which is nice. So we'll whack that on the bike, seeing as that's my chosen vehicle. And... Head off to Trader Hugh to sell some crap and then we'll go and do that uh, tier 5 infested clear. Sounds good to me. Of course, when I said I was going to go to Trader Hugh, I actually meant uh, wrecked because he's a lot, a lot nearer. Um, <laughs> save a lot of driving around in circles. So now we are going to go and do that tier 5 infestation. I think it's Butcher Pete's, I think. Let's go and find out. Butcher Pete's, here we go. Oh, there's a big ass bear there. Literally showing me it's big ass. Look at that, that was some sneaky parking. Um, I'm going to just get rid of this bear first. Oh, bloody hell, there's a... Right. This could go horribly wrong. No, I thought the bear was going to aggro as well then. <laughs> That's alright. i put one more point into Pummel Pete, so hopefully this will... Ah! I thought I was going to murder him then. Maybe not. Right, let's just shoot this bear in the ass. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, there's a bloody another one. Oh, well, we're going to stock up on meat today anyway. I really should be saving my 9 mil rounds for the uh, POI, but never mind. There we go. Oh, I'll just carve these bad boys up. Cool, right, let's get this show on the road. Oh, where did you come from? That was hairy straight away. Uh, yeah, fun. He must have been. Yeah, he must have been hiding there, unless he was up here. Sneaky little git. That's someone else gurgling at me now. Not in the lift shaft, obviously, because that is locked. Produce basket. Ooh. I need to check on the status of my farm plots. Actually, I've got still got three more to build, so I need. To Check how much rotting flesh I've got in stock. Get those bad boys built. Right. Clear, clear, clear. I'm just not bothered about the crap loot at the moment. Let's just kill some zombies. Here we go. Whoa. Do not hide at the stairs. Come on then. Come on then. It's that dude. That's problematic. Still alive. I think we're okay at that. Hoo -hoo. Oh, what's been going on up here? What's been going on at Butcher Pete's? I have done this POI before, but not for a very long time. So, you know... Oh, machine gunner. 
And does the SMG class... I suppose it does class as an automatic weapon. Oh, none of these give you... Uh, oh, they do give you rotting flesh, just not all the time. Gibbs everywhere. Right, up the steps we go. Further, further. I'm using a chunk of ammo already. I have got another 300 rounds of, of regular 9mm ammo on me. Uh, obviously, it's all about to go crazy. Oh, I've locked myself in the room. Ah! <laughs> oh, dear. Those guys are so hairy. I've been, uh, it's been correctly pointed out to me that these are the whites. At least I think that's that's the case. Ah, oh, that was the guy I got. Anyone in the bathroom? No. No crapping zombies. Not bothered about kitchen loot at all. Got plenty, plenty of kitchen things. I do need to be stocking up more on paper now. I've been neglecting paper a bit, but... Uh, yeah, electrical items are getting used a lot more, so definitely, definitely need to be keeping my eye out for more paper. Why is it, why is it always a damn loft? Anyone here? Obviously there's someone here. Uh, I do like this SMG. I'm just not keen on the noise. Right, let's just check and clear the old loft space. Uh, oh, you get lots of rotting flesh from these, or do you? Yes, body bags. Body bags are good. Nothing else in these corners. I'm not overly fussed if I miss a bit of crap loot here and there. Oh, yeah, we're really stocking up on... Uh... What have they been sacrificing around here? Rotting flesh. Uh, is this really where I need to go? I hope I can get on that ladder. I might just uh, secure that. There we go. That's it. Down to the basement. What's in the basement? I've got full... We're all right for everything else. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, giblets. Just heard a doggy doggy. Can't get back up the ladder. <laughs> oh, fail. Oh, didn't need him coming. Oh, not a single one of them touched me. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! I thought they'd got me then. They will never outwit me with their decayed and rotting brains. Uh, is this really the loot room? Wow. I am just going to harvest some of these uh, giblet bits. Like I say, I want to get enough rotting flesh to finish off, just to finish off my roof garden. And that way it's all done, and I can decide what I'm doing properly with my planting all the time. Kill. Infested cash. What have we got? Uh, reasonable. Reasonable chunk of ammo. Yeah, happy with that. See so what's in the chest. Ew. Nice. None of those. Okay, yeah, just ammo. That's all good. Quite happy with that. Right, let's see what's in the final bit. Oh, hello. I <laughs> forgot about this lot. Okay. Right. Is this the last bit? Is it all going to go crazy when I flip this switch? What have we got? Oh, I can't retreat in there. There's, there's nowhere to retreat to. I'll just collect these giblets. Sorry, I forgot about these. Is that going to open when I flick this switch? Something's coming. This is it.
Oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes it. Oh, that is going to open. Ah, oh, we're done. And we're done. A little bit frantic, but you know, a bit of uh, automatic weaponry soon solves the problem. That, my friend, is the beauty of simulated violence. Now, if anyone gets that quote, I will be impressed. Literally my favourite TV programme of all time. Is, is there anything else over in this bit? Is this just where all the uh, beasties were stashed? Guessing it probably is. Right, that's it. Job done. Nice and easy that one was, really. Right, let's get back to Wrecked and hand this thing in. Well, that was fun. That was a nice little interesting diversion from the Norm. Uh, I don't know who Norm is, but uh, I'm glad to be diverted from him. Let's go and see what uh, the miserable git has got for me in terms of a reward. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? Well, how about I, I empty my you. magazine into your head? I don't really use a crossbow, but exploding bolts might be quite good fun. <laughs> I'm just going to have gas for now to save me harvested anymore. It's fine. Oh, infested clear at shotgun messiah range. That might be a good job for tomorrow. Yeah, we'll take that one. We'll take that one and we could do that tomorrow. Go do the goddamn job. I'm not going to head and do it tonight. There's not enough time. I've got a couple of things I want to do at the base. Really want to make some progress on something else. I've come out completely the wrong gate. Because my bike is round here. Right, back to base and tidy up the inventory. I tell you what it is really, really nice is that fuel saver mod on the bike. Um, it really does cut down the amount of gas you use and make life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, I'm just going to tidy all this lot away and then we will... Um, I've got a plan. You'll see what the plan is. I hope you're going to like the plan. It's a good plan. Uh, I've got something happening downstairs. Hello. Shotgun action. Not from me, from my uh, turrets. Oh, this is just too tempting. Ah, come on, fly. He's too big to fly. Hey, up. Oh. wonder why that shotgun's still going off. Nice blue loot bags. Oh, another wiring 101. Keep you can keep them coming in. What was it that was uh, that was down here that was getting hit? You know, I've had another idea as well. What I think I might do is elevate the four corner blade traps off the ground and put them on a block. Put them on a, a on a probably one of those half meter column blocks. I'm going to leave the middle ones low down so. They definitely stay out of the, the range of fire of the shotgun turrets. But I think I might hire these ones up. So I've got some at head height and some at knee, and some at knee height. Stagger them. Stagger them. That should be interesting, I think. Right. Finish sorted and then we might do that. And I can now craft, craft my own shotgun auto turrets, which is nice. Headlights mod for the bike. That's also nice. Things, things are being very nice at the moment. We like this. So what we need to do... Very quickly, just before it goes dark. Oh, God, I need some more wood, actually. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to have to mission it very quickly for some wood. I can do this bit first. And hopefully it will make sense and you'll sort of know what I'm doing. Because um, I can do the other bits afterwards. Anything around the base. So, let's just pick one there. One there. This is literally just a matter of drawing a straight line. It's it's the easiest way to do it. I think they've changed the shape of the hillside slightly since the last time I did this, but I'm just gonna run back up to the top and very quickly check we are still in a straight line. Yep, yeah, all looks good. So you may be able to guess what this was all about. Uh let us see.
Bloody typical, there's a seam right here, right at the edge. Never mind. <laughs> Can't believe there's uh, all those resources here. Coal, lead. Um, I think I thought I saw some iron somewhere as well. Maybe not. Maybe it's just coal and lead. But either way, that is a beginning. Right. I'm gonna. Ooh, I'm gonna risk it. I mean, I'm gonna risk it. It's risky, but I'm gonna risk it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Oh, typical. Oh, there's a couple of them. Okay, he's dead. Another one over there. And there is a little doggy. Not bothered about that. Bloody hell, launched it into orbit. Right, we are doing some night building, or night mining anyway. But just to be on the safe side, I brought with me Johnny Five. Oh no, I brought the wrong one. <laughs> I brought the sledge with me. Oh well, uh, stick that down instead. It'll protect me, I suppose, from the back. And that's all I need. What? Why can't I deploy it? Oh, I can't believe it's not letting me deploy it in here. Um, it might be because it's not wide enough, I suppose. Bear with me a second. Let's try that again. There we go. I meant to bring uh, my actual turret with me. Doesn't matter. Ah, what we've done there is we have broken through. We've made the connection. Perfect. I mean, not quite perfect. But... Uh, we're there. We're there. I didn't dig down as deep as I needed to. I thought I was. I thought I'd still got another layer to go. Uh, no, I thought I was on the right level there, but I'd actually still got another two or three layers to go. Oh, we've hit a seam as well. Excellent. That's a perfect place to hit a seam because I can mine from the inside of the base now. So what I'm going to do very quickly is use this stone. This is the main reason I made this. Uh, I am going to plug this hole back up. Uh, I'll just do it from here, actually. Um, just to discourage anything from coming in from the outside. I can soon dig these bits out again. I've got that, like, five layers thick there. That gives me more than enough room to be able to dig this bit out. Perfect. Happy days. Right, let's carry on with that then. And make the connection properly. Right, I think, I think that is all the uh, blocks cut out. Oh, I just best make some more blocks actually very quickly. I am obviously going to run into uh, the next day just by a few minutes, but I really want to uh, do this for the sake of completionism. Um, I will need more wood to upgrade it all, but for now, let's just get... Oh, no, tiny bit more mining to do, typical. I've got to do these two. But now, you can see how it's really coming together, and it this does work. Trust me, it works. I've done it before on my previous incarnations of this, of this build. The biggest problem I'm going to face is uh, making sure I can keep it secure whilst uh, whilst it's still being built and before I get my garage door in place at the end and the gun emplacements that I'll have uh, guarding said garage door. Um, <coughs> hopefully it'll be done before the next horde night. This is why I left it till after day 56 to try doing it. Right, that's it. Awesome. Uh, happy with that. Oops, nope. Missed a few blocks. Typical. Uh, two seconds. To, uh, two minutes Turkish. And once this side's done, all I've got to do is repeat it on the north side as well. Right, that's it. That's that's it. We're getting there now. It won't be long, actually, before this bit's fully done. Um, and you'll be able to revel in the glory of it all. So the more observant among you will have noticed that I've finally upgraded my hatches to steel hatches. Happy with that. Um, 
Sure, it's all good. Fine. Right, yeah, we're going to leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you are new here and you like what you've seen, please do feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on bell notifications, and join me again for the next episode where we'll be doing another Tier 5 Infested Clear, as well as some more work on my um, exit tunnel. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, episode, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.